Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show how do I use get operation of OData adapter. So for example, you have an OData service and from that OData service, you would like to get a specific record based on that, based on the ID. For example, we have a customer, customer entity and from that customer entity, you would like to get a data of a particular customer based on its ID. So let's see how do I perform that get operation with the help of ODA or data adapter. So let's get started. So here you see we have a customer's entity which gives me the result of all the customers. Now I would like to fetch a particular customer based on this customer ID. And here you can see we have a customer ID and this is the ID. Now we can pass the ID like this. Okay, and it will give me a particular customer. So let's see how do I consume that API in Oracle integration with the help of OData data adapter. So go here and let's create a integration. Let's say application get customer or data. Okay, let me use this create. Here, let me use this and let's say get customer next customer and I'm going to add a query parameter and then configure this endpoint to receive the response next and then click on an add and let's say customer ID as our request parameter and then a string type next json sample and click on the inline let me take the response here the response that i would like to get from this rest okay next and then finish now here i am going to use that adapter called odata and let's say get customer b id get customer data next so from this i will use the get operation. So that get operation will take the ID. And here I will choose the entity, let's say customer. And here next. So when you use query parameter, you can use this option and see what all fields you need. So maybe you would like to restrict the result and you need a few fields. Let's say I need only customer name, contact name, again select. And in the response, you will only receive those two things. Okay, you can use select navigation properties as well. So basically, if you would like to fetch uh, orders of that customer, you can expand that as well. Order details. If you don't want, you just remove it. Okay, next and finish. Now here in the request mapper, I need to map the customer ID. So you can see under the template parameter, it takes the customer ID and you can pass here. And in the query parameters, you can set filter, order by, top, skip, and then count. You can get everything here. Next, then, and then map. Response wrapper. So that's it, D. You need to map all the data here. Reason, postal code, country, phone, fax, that's it, validate, and then close. All right, let's enable 
this as a business identifier, save, and then close. Activate this. Activate. All right. Fine. So let's run this. And let me take one customer ID, let's say this, and pass this here. All right, you can see the data corresponding to that customer ID. You can take one more. Let's say, I would like to get this data. And here we go. So this is how you can use that get operation to get the data based on that customer ID using that old data adapter. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.